Hello children, this is 6th Standard Maths, Chapter 10, Mensuration in your Part 2 textbook. So children, in the part first of the introduction of this chapter, we had studied about perimeter and area. Today, let us solve the exercise problems based on perimeter. So, this is the exercise 10.1. The first question, find the perimeter of each of the following figures. So, children, there are some of the figures given here. We need to find out the perimeter. So, we know that perimeter is the distance around the closed figure. That is the perimeter. So, look into the first question, children. A. We have a figure and we have the measurement that is equal to 4 cm, 2 cm, 1 cm and 5 cm. Perimeter is the distance around the boundary of the closed figure. So, this is the boundary of this figure and the distance that is the measurement is given with the boundary. So, now we need to calculate the perimeter. So, in order to calculate the perimeter children, we have to add all these measurements. When we add all those measurements and the final value that will be equal to the perimeter of this figure. So children, let us add 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5 in order to get the answer for the perimeter. Therefore, therefore children, perimeter is equal to 4 cm plus 2 cm plus 1 cm plus 5 cm. On adding all these numerical values, 4 plus 2, 4 5, 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Therefore, children, the perimeter is equal to 12 centimeter because all these numerical values are in centimeter measurement. Therefore, the perimeter will be equal to 12 centimeter. Now, look into the second question that is B. We have the figure and the measurement is given 35 cm, 23 cm, 35 cm and 40 cm. Add all those four sides. Measurement will give you the perimeter. So, while adding the perimeter values of the numerical values of the sides 23 plus 35 plus 35 plus 40. Let us take two numbers children. 23 plus 35. 5 plus 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then 3 plus 2, it is 5. So, 58 plus 35. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1 is carry on. 5 plus 1, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 93 plus 40. 3, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, the final answer will be equal to 133 cm. Therefore, the answer for the B question is 133 centimeter. Now, look into the C question in which we have all the side measurement that is equal to 15 centimeter. Therefore, children, in order to calculate the perimeter of this figure, when all the four sides are equal, we can have two methods. One method is adding all the four sides. Therefore, so children, when we add all the four sides, we have 15 with repeated with four times. Therefore, 15 fours are 60 centimeter or else we can add 15 plus 15. That means 15 plus 50. 5 plus 5, 10. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. Again, if we add 15, 5, 3 plus 1, 4, 45, plus 15, 5 plus 5, 10, 1 is carry on, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 1, 6. It will be the same answer. This is the one method of calculating the perimeter. And the other method is, so children, look into the figure C once again. How many sides we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 sides with the measurement given that is equal to 15 centimeter. Therefore, perimeter is equal to 4 into length of one side. That means length of one side because all the 4 sides are equal. So, we can use 4 into length of one side. 
that is 4 sides into length of one side is 15 centimeter therefore 15 fours are 60 centimeter same answers and these two are the alternate methods that we can apply when in a figure all the four sides are equal or any number of sides if we consider all each sides are equal based on the number of sides we can calculate with the alternate method the answer for the perimeter now children look into the d question in which all the sides are equal to 4 cm so if you look into the sides 1 2 3 4 5 so children in this figure there are how many sides there are 5 sides and all the 5 sides measurement are equal to 4 cm in this also we can have two methods in order to calculate the perimeter one of the method is adding all the five sides that is 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm plus 4 cm or else we can use the alternate method that is when the figure has five sides it is a pentagon therefore in order to calculate the of perimeter we have the formula 5 into length of one side therefore the method that we can use for the calculation of the perimeter of the figure d problem is that therefore the perimeter of a pentagon can be calculated using the formula 5 into length of one side then 5 into what is the length of one side children it is 4 centimeter and all the five sides are equal to 4 centimeter 5 fours are 20 centimeter therefore the answer for the d problem is 20 centimeter now children look into this f figure in the f figure they have given with so many measurements so in order to calculate this children the method that we can follow is the only one method that we have to add all these numerical values that means we have to add 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 and plus 3 again we get back plus 4 therefore while adding all these numerical values we will get the perimeter of this figure therefore therefore children for the f problem for this problem in order to calculate the perimeter like this we have to add all the values when we add all these values we will get the final answer equal to 52 centimeter therefore the answer for the f question is 52 centimeter by adding all the values along its boundary we will get the answer equal to 52 centimeter and this is the method next problem e problem again like that of the f problem we need to add all these numerical values in order to get the perimeter therefore while on adding all the values children let us take from here 1 plus 4 plus 4 then we have here 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 okay so 1 plus 4 plus 4 0 0.5 0 0.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 now let us add these numerical values children therefore now we shall add after the decimal point values first 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 4 5 6 7 8 9 therefore therefore 1 plus 4 plus 4 we will get 9 plus now we shall add 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 therefore 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 5 plus 5 10 1 is carry on 
then it is 1. So, children, it is 1.0. So, after the decimal point, if we get the value that is equal to 0, then that 0 can be neglected. For example, if you get like 1.1, 1.2, then after the decimal point, that number has the value 1.2 1.3 has the value you should retain as it is but in the case of 1.0 you can neglect that 0 and write it as 1 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 2.5 plus 2.5 5 plus 5 10 1 carry on 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 3 4 5 Therefore, we got the answer equal to 5.0. Again, after the decimal point, we got 0 and that 0 can be neglected. So, the answer that is equal to 5. So, 9 plus 1 plus 5. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 5, it is 15 centimeter. Therefore, the answer for the E problem is equal to 15 centimeter. The system method of calculating the perimeter and these are the answers for the perimeter. So, perimeter means we have to add all the measurements that is given in the figure in order to get the perimeter. Now, let us move on to the second question. The lid of a rectangular box of sides 40 cm by 10 cm is sealed all round with the tape. What is the length of the tape required? That means the lid is in the shape of a rectangle. The lid of a rectangular box. Therefore, the lid of a rectangular box. So, there is a box which is in the shape of a rectangle of sides 40 cm by 10 cm means children. Length of the rectangular side of the box, the length measurement is equal to 40 cm and the breadth B, we represent breadth as B and length as L. Therefore, the breadth measurement is equal to 10 cm. Therefore, 40 cm by 10 cm means children, the length value is 40 cm and the breadth value is 10 cm. Length is 40 and breadth is 10 cm. That is the meaning of 40 cm by 10 cm. Now, what is the length of the tape required? So, now we need to calculate the length of the tape required. That means we need to calculate the perimeter of the tape required to seal the rectangular box. Therefore, we know that the perimeter of a, a rectangle is 2 into length plus breadth. That is the formula to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle. Therefore, perimeter is equal to 2 into L plus B. That is where L is the length and B is the breadth. This bracket represents the multiplication 2 into L plus B. On substituting the values, 2 into, we have 40 measurement with a length value, put the bracket, write 40 plus breadth measurement equal to 10. Therefore, 2 into, let us simplify this within the brackets containing the values. So, 40 plus 10, that will be equal to 50. 2 into 50, 2 zeros are 0, 2 fives are 10. Therefore, the value of the perimeter is equal to 100 centimeter. Therefore, the length of the tape required that will be equal to 100 centimeter. The length of the tape required is nothing but we need to calculate the perimeter. Therefore, the answer will be equal to 100 centimeter. The third question find the perimeter of each of the following shapes. The shapes are the triangle which is having the different side measurement. Another one is the equilateral triangle of measurement 9 cm. That means all the three sides are equal to 9 cm and isosceles triangle. So these are the different shapes. We know that isosceles triangle, are, this is a triangle with the two sides equal. 
therefore let us move on to the first question in which we need to calculate the perimeter of a triangle of sides 3 cm plus 4 cm plus 5 cm so so in this problem all the three sides are having the different values the method we can solve to find out the perimeter is add all those three sides that means 3 plus 4 plus 5 when we add those three values 3 plus 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 plus 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Therefore, the perimeter of a triangle with the three different measurements of the sides is equal to 12 centimeter. Next, we shall move on to the B question, children. An equilateral triangle of side 9 centimeter. So, in order to calculate the perimeter of the equilateral triangle, one way is add the three sides. We know that in an equilateral triangle, all the three sides are equal. Considering 9 centimeter, we can add 9 plus 9 plus 9. Or we can apply the formula. We have the formula to calculate the perimeter of an equilateral triangle that is equal to 3 into length of one side. So children, perimeter of equilateral triangle 3 into length of one side. 3 into 3 because the triangle has 3 sides. 3 into length of one side is 9 cm. Then the other remaining 2 sides will be equal to 9 cm. Therefore, 9 into 3 or 3 into 9, 3 nines are 27 cm is the answer for the perimeter of equilateral triangle. Next, C problem in which we have to calculate the perimeter of an isosceles triangle with equal sides measuring 8 cm and third side is 6 cm. We know that in an isosceles triangle two sides are equal. Therefore with equal sides measuring 8 cm means two sides of a triangle will be equal to the side measurement 8 cm therefore 8 plus 8 plus the third side measurement that will be equal to 6 therefore 8 plus 8 plus 6 8 plus 8 we have 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 plus 6 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 therefore the final answer of the perimeter of an isosceles triangle will be equal to 22 cm. Next, we shall move on to the fourth question. We have to find the perimeter of a triangle with sides measuring 10 cm, 14 cm, 15 cm. Here, we have all the three sides value of the triangle side measurement different. 10, 14 and 15. So in order to calculate the perimeter of the triangle, we shall add all the three sides. That is 10 plus 14 plus 15. While adding these three sides, therefore, first let us add 10 plus 14. It is 4, 1 plus 1, 2, 24. To this 24, let us add the third side that is 15. So 4 plus 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2 plus 1, it will be 3. Therefore, the perimeter of a triangle with a measurement 10 cm, 14 cm and 15 cm, the answer will be equal to 39 cm is the answer for the fourth problem. Next, we shall move on to the fifth problem. Find the perimeter of regular hexagon with each side measuring 8 meter. So, the measurement of the side is given in meter. Regular hexagon means, hexagon means 6 sides. Regular hexagon means all the 6 sides of a regular hexagon are equal and the measurement is 8 meter. Therefore, each side of a regular hexagon has the measurement equal to 8 meter. Total sides in a regular hexagon is equal to 6. So, now we need to calculate the perimeter of regular hexagon. We know the formula to calculate the perimeter of a regular hexagon that is equal to 6 into length of one side. That means all the 6 sides are equal. Therefore, if one side is 8 centimeter, sorry, 8 meter, 
the remaining five sides also will be equal to 8 meter because all the six sides are equal in regular hexagon. Therefore, perimeter of regular hexagon is equal to 6 into length of one side that is 6 is the number of sides in a regular hexagon into 8 meter 6 into 8 therefore 6 sides are 48 meter therefore the perimeter of a regular hexagon is equal to 48 meter and this is the method to calculate the perimeter of regular hexagon Next, sixth question. Find the side of a square whose perimeter is 20 meter. We know that in a square all the four sides are equal. So, we need to calculate the side of the square. But the perimeter value is given with 20 meter. Using the perimeter value, we need to calculate the length of each side of a square. So, if we get length of one side, then all the remaining three sides are equal. Because in a square, all the four sides are equal. So, in order to calculate the side of a square, given with the perimeter, so we shall apply the perimeter formula. The perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into length of one side. Therefore, Therefore, on applying the formula, perimeter of square is equal to 4 into length of one side. We need to calculate length of the one side. Therefore, the value of the perimeter is given that is equal to 20 meter equal to 4 into length of one side. We need to calculate the length of one side. Now, we need to calculate this length of one side. Therefore, 24 into length of one side. Therefore, this 4 while taking to the right side, it will be divided by 4 because here in the right side, we have 4 into length of one side. Therefore, while coming to the left side, it will be 20 by 4 equal to length of one side. Therefore, 20 by 4. 4 1s are 4, 4 5s are 20. Therefore, length of the one side that is equal to 5 meter. Therefore, the side of the square is equal to 5 meter. So, children, we can verify whether the side of a square 5 meter is correct. That means, we know that the perimeter of a square is 20 meter. Perimeter, we are obtaining by adding all the 4 sides. So, length of the one side of a square is 5. So, therefore, a square has 4 sides. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So, 5 plus 5, it is 10. 10 plus 5, it is 15. 15 plus 5, 20. We got the final answer of the perimeter, 20 meter. Therefore, children, the side of the square is equal to 5 meter. This is the method of calculating the perimeter. That is the side of the square when given with the perimeter value. Seventh question. Find the perimeter. That means the perimeter of a regular pentagon is 100 centimeter. So, pentagon is having 5 sides and perimeter value is equal to 100 centimeter. Total sides in a regular pentagon is 5. Now, we need to calculate the length of each side of a regular pentagon. Therefore, in a regular pentagon, all the 5 sides are equal. Using the perimeter value and the side, we have to calculate the length of each side of the regular pentagon. Therefore, we shall apply the formula for the perimeter of regular pentagon that is equal to 5 into length of one side. On substituting the values, we know the value of the perimeter of a regular pentagon that is equal to 100 centimeter equal to 5 that is the total side of the regular pentagon equal to 5 into length of one side we need to calculate. Therefore, on further simplification, 100 divided by 5 since we have 5 into length of one side this 5 while coming to the left side of the this one that will be 100 by 5 that will be equal to 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 0 therefore it will be 20 therefore 
therefore each side of the regular pentagon will be equal to 20 cm so children in regular pentagon you have the five sides perimeter value is equal to 100 cm so 20 into 5 we will get back the perimeter value that is 100 cm therefore the length of each side of the regular pentagon is equal to 20 cm is the final answer